Remus 1981, and yay, I get to clean their cages today. After <laughs> Oh, I'm exhausted. Anyway, all right. Let's feed Carl, who, that's what my friend named him. And I give up. I don't I don't know a good name for him, so fine, Carl, whatever. Who cares? These people seem to like it. I don't, but, you know, whatever. I don't like Luna either, so. Ah, let's get these fuzzies ready here. Luna's in pre-shed. I just took her out at our hide. But I have a feeling it ain't going to matter. She'll eat anyway. And I, know, I know this little gal will eat. So I feed him two pinkies now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. You're excited. Um, I feed him two pinkies now because one is not enough, and... He's not quite big enough for fuzzy, so at least not the fuzzies I get. So let's feed Carl. Carl's normally not as defensive, but for some reason he gets in here. He gets very defensive, so I might have to. I need to be taking him out more often, so he stays tame. Stay in there, Carl. I know you smell it. Here you go. Come on. Ah. That's a feeding response, folks. That's a feeding response. Can you see him? Shit. Turn around so you can see it. Carl, don't mess around. Don't even think about it, Carl. Please, I do not want to have to mess with you. As you folks seen from my previous video, last time he wrapped his tail like that, he wanted to tuck it away in somewhere in my computer area, on you know, my keyboard, to eat it in private. Poor Luna's in pre-shed. I gotta take her out, because if I'm gonna clean Skeever's cage, I might as well clean the rest of their cages. <sighs> Carl is always worried, like, I'm gonna take his food away. So I got two more pinkies, and I believe he should by then, so that's another week from now. That was. Anyway, it's another week from now, and then he should be up to fuzzies, I'm hoping. Or else it's back to PetSmart to buy more pinkies. He is beautiful, though. What's taking so long on that? Come on. You folks get a good view of that? I know it's... I mentioned in my other videos why I'm not using my cell phone as much as um, I used to. I still do. I still got to upload a video. I'm over there looking at poor Skeever. Hit a few mites on him. I had a video to watch. Well, actually, two videos of him feeding. Oh, God. Feeding him is a pain. Homo Python. Strong feeding response. Yeah, whatever. He's already going to be ready for round two. Watch. I hate these tongs. I, I gotta get a, well, whatever these are, things are called. I need to get actual tongs so they don't hurt my hand. I'm trying to hold them. I mean, I'm wrong. I love Exoterra's products, but, oh God, man, I shouldn't be all sore. All right. Ready, dum dum? Round two? Hmm? Oh yeah, what the arr. I'm not gonna pull away from him. Every time I do that, he ends up trying to pull the whole, you know, thing. That's feeding response, folks. It's my boy Carl. 
There you go, everyone. So everyone can see it. It's so gross. I can actually see his food in him. His body's like translucent. I think it's the hypo in him. So pretty, though. You're going to be one sexy man. Sexy man snake when you get big. Okay, I don't know. So I get paid this weekend, and my hook about crooked guy at Luna 40 a 40 gallon breeder. She is. It's not so much the cage; it's her hides. I can't fit a bigger hide in there. I'm gonna use uh, the aspen, not the cocoa, um, cocoa fiber, or whatever it's called, the Eco Earth uh, from Zoomed, because um, she really can't dig through that, but the aspen. She, um, she'll be able to dig through it, so that'll, you know, put some less stress on her. Not that she's been stressed out, but, you know. Mmm, good? Yeah. Give me that look. Give me that look. You're like, he's like, oh, I can eat some more. That's nah, good enough. Come on. Don't curl up over here, dum dum. Come on. There you go. There. Put your head down. Oh, it's too funny. All right. Rabbit Science and One, this is Carl, my Hypo Lavender Motley Corn Snake male. And next video is going to be of Luna eating, hopefully. She's in pre-shed, but I can almost guarantee she'll eat anyway.